Peter with drvoip.com. This video cheat sheet is going to show you how to set up a short tail SIP uh, trunk using none other than ScopeServe, uh, which is a phenomenal product. But I've got like 10 minutes to do this video clip, so I'm going to do, do two clips. I'll do one on configuring uh, these two devices to achieve the desired goal, uh, and uh, I'll come back. I'll do another. Um, video cheat sheet on a scope serve itself. So in our simple configuration here, what we're seeking to do is to create a short tail environment in which there are no traditional dial tone trunks on the short tail. Uh, there will only be a SIP trunk on the short tail, and the SIP trunk will uh, connect the headquarters site with a branch office, and it will also provide dial tone uh, and um, long distance local calling uh, for the short tail extension. So we're going to create a short tail SIP trunk for all outgoing calls. If you dial 9, you're going across the short tail SIP trunk and out the scope serve, which has been integrated with a, a voice over IP 4 channel trunk to a, a ITSP uh, and also brings in a 914 DID number. If you're in extension 4XX, you live in the branch office in the scope server. And if you're 2XX, you live uh, in the short tail. And so at the branch office, if you dial 9, uh, you go out the scope serve uh, to the ITSP. If uh, an incoming call uh, is received from the ITSP, uh, it will go over across the tie line and be processed by the short tail. It could have been answered by a short tail auto attendant so that we can demo it on the screen here. I have it ringing a particular extension 215. So I'll, I'll now show you how to set up this configuration. Let's log into the short tail. And step one, of course, is going to be to go to the short gear switch in the site that we want to configure and set up some SIP trunks. So I've covered this in detail in other videos. I'm just going to point out that step one is go get yourself some SIP, SIP trunk ports on a shore gear switch. Next thing you're going to do is go to trunk groups and you're going to create uh, by saying create in site of interest a SIP trunk. I've gone ahead and set this up already and I'll just walk you through the configuration. It's pretty straightforward. If you've set up trunk groups on Shortel before, there really is no difference between a traditional TDM and a SIP trunk in terms of the configuration, other than you're probably going to have to deal with uh, some form of digest authentication. It's an oversimplification, but for purposes of discussion, uh, through version 12, Shortel uh, doesn't support uh, digest authentication in terms of the short tail registering, let's say, with a, with a voice over IP provider. Uh, when you set up uh, digest authentication, you're going to create a username and password that is used by the service provider, in this case, our scope serve, to register with short tail. So uh, short tail is the master and the service provider is the slave. Um, we've also uh, set up OPX capability here because in our little plan, extensions in the 400 range live in the uh, branch office scope serve. Uh, we've also uh, need to prepend uh, for out dialing a nine so that the scope serve will know what to do with that call. So we've configured 10 digits for DID, and basically uh, access code and an area code and the various services in the trunk group that um, define what services are supported by this trunk group. You'll then go to your individual trunks, and you will uh, go ahead and add a individual SIP trunk uh, from your switch to the IP address of your service provider, in this case, the scope serve. So um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward to set up 
uh, the SIP trunk, the basic definition. You may have to tweak uh, the profile uh, a little, but uh, as you can see, if, if you go to the switch, uh, you will in fact see that you have your trunk set up, you're green, you're good to go. So I will do a separate video on the scope server itself because it's an incredible product. It's very well documented and tech support was phenomenal. Um, I really encourage you to take a hard look at this, but at the moment we're going to just do what's necessary to get this to act as the border controller and the off-premise extensions for our branch office, as well as providing SIP trunking to the short tail. So uh, there are several areas that we have to deal with. One, the concept of um, setting up the circuit to the voice over IP provider. Uh, we've defined an account that goes to our ITSP. Uh, um, I've got all my credentials in here, and I'm not going to show that to you on the internet, but I will show you the one that we've set up to the short tail. So in, in the short tail, we've um, appointed this at uh, the default tenant in this, which happens to be called Dr. VoIP. The type of circuit is SIP. It is of type friend. I've described it as uh, just a tie line between the uh, scope server and the short tail. The, Username and password that we established in the short tell for uh, a digest authentication is in fact being set up here. So we are the slave. We're going to register with the short tell. And a common error uh, is to assume that the host IP address is the short tell headquarters server error. You are going to put here the short gear switch uh, that is hosting your SIP trunks. Um, and that's what we have done here as well. The next, uh, once this is configured, the next thing you'll need to do uh, in an asterisk deployment is to set up the, the routes, incoming routes, outgoing routes. So uh, what we're doing here is we have set up a route uh, for incoming lines. If we see 4XX, we know that uh, this, in fact, is going to go to local extensions within the scope serve, which supports the extensions that we have uh, previously defined uh, in our system here in the range of 400. We have to provide some um, outgoing lines as well. And in the case of the outgoing lines, we're saying anything with a nine plus, um, you know, pointed at the uh, uh, SIP trunk to the ITSP. If it's 2XX, send it to the short tell, uh, the short tell system. And um, very straightforward to define the dial string, custom dial string 2XX. We're not going to strip any digits, and off we go. So uh, you'll set up your ITSP interface for your zip trunk and define the number of channels, give it a class of service. Um, and make sure that uh, you have checked uh, routes for incoming and outgoing the direct um, digits to the proper circuit. So at this point, let's uh, take a look at some real examples and see how this works in dialing. So you know what you're looking at here. It can be a little confusing. Um, this is a, a Windows desktop, and I have my communicator for extension 215 established here. I've got an RDP connection up to the Shore Gear headquarters server so that uh, I can demonstrate dialing here. You can see the trunk test tool. We've got uh, our four trunks our four circuits set up that define the tie line between uh, the Shure Tell and the scope server. And here I have an X-Lite soft phone, which will be one of my extensions on the scope serve. So if I dial extension um, 215, for example, here, 
you'll see that we get a pop-up over here and you can see that the shore gear switch is ringing in. I'll go ahead and answer that. And we have an established phone call. You can see it on the call manager and you can see it here um, on the trunk test tool. So it's an incoming call um, to extension 215. So let me go ahead and um, hang up on that. And um, just to show you it works the other way around, let's go ahead and use the call manager to dial. So you can see the, the call is ringing in from Gandalf to Gray. We get our caller ID. I go ahead and answer that. And we have an established phone call between uh, extension 405 in the scope serve and uh, 215 um, in the short tail. Let's go ahead and, and terminate that guy. And I think, uh, I guess, let's, uh, um, let's have an incoming call uh, to the DID that we have on the SIP trunk and the scope serve, a vocabulary tongue twister here. And I'll go ahead and dial that number. Uh, we should see it ring in, uh, um, and eventually it'll hit the the tie line here. There's the incoming call, and we have that sent to go to be processed by, not getting caller ID on this, but I can, I can make that happen too, and if we go ahead and answer that, uh, we have an active telephone call. Likewise, um, we can hang up on that. Um, clear. And let's go ahead and make an outbound call. Let's call ourselves. And I'll go ahead and dial that. And you'll see that that call is going out. Thank you for contacting Dr. Voigt. And we've and made an outbound telephone call. So, um, setting up a SIP trunk between the shore tell and a internal IP address that's going to act as the border controller as well as the SIP trunk interface. And in the case of this uh, implementation here, we're going to provide um, SIP extensions to that branch office. We can do the voicemail either in the scope serve or in the shore tell. Uh, but as you can see, it's uh, easy to set up. It eliminates some of the uh, confusion that you would otherwise have setting up SIP on Shortel. And I hope that you have found this informative, and I thank you for viewing.